Welcome. Hey, today I am going to show show you what I did to my. This is my old round wooden cheese box. I got this at an auction a few years back. There were two of them. I can't find the other one. It's somewhere packed. But I thought they were cool. Not knowing that these online, I just checked them out. And they're like three hundred and four hundred dollars for these. I had no idea. Uh, but anyway, I before I even knew this, I decided when I found it again uh, that I was going to, you know, fix it up and clean it up and make it look a little better. I was using, I mean, it, not that it was dirty because I had cleaned it, but you can see it has like all little pieces of thread and I had all my like ribbons and stuff in there that I use for uh, sewing and for crafts and I had just thrown the cleaned it up and then just threw them in there uh, and I thought well you know what I'm gonna paint it I'm not gonna go crazy with it and do something you know amazing and restore it but I'm gonna fix it up a little bit so I have this uh, cream wax stain from deco art so I thought well I'm gonna try it and that's how I started uh, I did that first, let it dry for quite a few weeks, and then went back to it and started adding color. And here you see I added some green, I wasn't sure, and then I add some blue, and then on the bottom, that's the top, that's the lid, and on the top, on the bottom I started adding some pinks in, and really wasn't sure where I was going with it. And then I thought, well, you know what, I live by the beach, let's do another uh, mermaid maybe maybe I'll add some so here I'm adding some different blues to it uh, sea mist sea foam and teal and pinks and uh, just and then wiping it off putting it on wiping it off and just you know kind of distressing it a little bit and just trying to figure out I, what I wanted it to look like so then then, you know, I started thinking about, well, let's do a mermaid, you know. Not like I haven't done one but in a while, but I thought, you know what, I love them. And I want to be able to look at this box and see something pretty. And I also like to do things like my grandchildren, girls, you know, my granddaughters come over and say, oh, ooh, I like that, Grandma, you know, can I have that? And then, you know, I think about it and then... I can give it to them, something that they'll ooh and ah over. So now it's real, real pretty. And I start with gesso, and I just started to, you know, kind of draw in, sketch in the the little uh, mermaid. Now I'm trying to think what I want. Do I want a seahorse again? You know, and I love um, octopus, so, you know, I have to always have a little hint of an octopus around so I put that in and then a couple of fish and I wasn't really thinking about going two way out with this because like I said it's it's an old box I'm not like I'm repairing it I could have sanded it down and made it smoother and you know I may with the other one if I find the other one the other one does I did do some painting and stenciling on it but I could always go over it and I may and the other one I think is in better condition than this one this one is kind of rickety but it's just so cool so here I am I'm just you know sketching her face and trying to figure out how I want things and uh, then I'm just gonna I wind up using deco art acrylics I use gesso I use color pencils I use ink tents uh, pencils I use markers I use a whole bunch of different things in this, you know, as I always do before I can get it where I want it to be in the color. Sometimes the colors just don't come right with the acrylic and then you've got to add the, you know, you have to add gesso and then some watercolors and then um, some gelatos, you know, <laughs> it goes on and on and on and then some color pencils. <laughs> So that's basically what I did with this. It's just really mixed media as far as different paints and stuff. And didn't do any uh, beads or anything on there. I look at her now and I, I think uh, I have to fix her necklace. But I'll do that in another time. I wanted to get this out to you guys. And doing the inside too. So I'm painting the inside and wiping off. painting. It's very rough in the inside. And I wanted to make it a little bit smoother. Now
Okay, so I just wanted to show you this is, you know, she's done. I mean, I keep going and going and I'm like, uh, it's just a box. It's a top of a lid <laughs> for my um, box for my material. So if you're enjoying this video and I'm inspiring you, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me comments. I love to hear from you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush, uh, let's see, I'm going to brush this gel stain, wipe it off, and yeah, I'm going to wipe it off. Let's get some baby wipes and just, because I don't want it to... really distress it too much a little bit I mean, you could do this in any color and I did do around the sides of the the bottom part ah, for some reason my hair must be slippery today because my headphones keep sliding off. So, just to give it back to its, you know, weathered look that it weathered or whatever, old. Then I'm going to seal it. I am going to go over it and I did the bottom part with polyurethane. This is called Dora Clean Satin Varnish. Uh, satin varnish by uh, Americana and I did the bottom so I'm gonna do this too because this is kind of really you can see you know it's it's really uh, quite old so just putting it on and wiping it off and make it look a little old maybe the picture itself I mean the container looks old but you know so you can see I like that I'm gonna do the sides the same way and I'm just gonna put it on and take it off let's see this kinda just needs a little bit more You could do it with black or, you know, paint, brown paint. Um, I just have this, so I want to use it. And I think once it's, you know, sealed with the polyurethane, Then it wouldn't. It won't be maybe as rough. I mean, you could really go crazy with this. Sand it down, re-glue it, you know, and make it. Make it look new again. But I'm not gonna go that far with it. Okay. So that's that's it. Now I'm gonna just let this dry, and then go over it. with polyurethane and that will be that and I'll be back okay I'll put a couple of the links below that I found for these online uh, they are really high like I said I found some for three hundred four hundred dollars uh, you know I paid twelve dollars for two of these at an auction not knowing how expensive they really are Okay, so I'm really loving the way this came out, guys. It's just so cool. I like the, the oh, you know what? And if you want to put some black around the edge, that's okay. You know, just distress it a little bit. But I think, see how nice and shiny it is? I think I'm going to put one more coat on this of the polyurethane. But I just wanted to show you it's dry and how it just feels so good. And the inside is 
I polyurethane it. I did a couple of coats on. I'll probably do another one, but I don't really care. It's just going to have some of my ribbons and, you know, all my things that I use for crafting and sewing and, you know, like fancy kind of stuff, you know, I put in here. Ribbons and, uh, you know, all my little, uh, like, things like this and whatever else, you know, beads that I use and... Uh, you know, just all kinds of things like that. That's that's what I usually, what I had in this originally. That's what I had got. And if I could find the other one, I don't know what I did with the other one. The other one is smaller. And the other one I did paint. Um, I didn't really, I didn't really get into it as much as this. But I did spray it with some inks and colors. And then I did some stenciling on it. But you got me where it is. I have no idea what I did with it. So somewhere it's packed away with some good stuff in it, probably. And I haven't seen it in probably three years. So when I find that, I'll definitely show you or, you know, do something with it. Maybe, you know, something more with it. So this was a lot of fun. I hope if you have any old boxes or wooden things that, you know, you don't know what to do with, I mean... This is really was fun. I mean, just really fun and great for the beach here. So I can put this in my studio or in my room or anywhere I want now because it looks so nice and, and pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I see you again soon, okay? And leave me comments and let me know if you've done anything like this. I'd sure would love to see it. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time, okay? Keep creating. Love you guys. <laughs>